Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw the Penrose Triangle. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. First, we will make guidelines to help us with our drawing. Select the Pen tool and draw a short straight line. Press the Ctrl and C buttons to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now press the letter V to select it and holding down the shift key, click on this corner and move your mouse to rotate it 90 degrees. Next we'll draw three parallel lines. Select the pen tool, click somewhere here and holding down the shift key, draw a long and straight line. Now let's duplicate it and make one more copy. Next select all of them and we will copy and rotate them around the center of this cross mark. Go to the Rotate tool and holding down the Alt key click on this intersection to set the rotation point. Type 120 for the angle and click Copy and press Ctrl D to make one more copy. Now go to View, select Guides and choose Make Guides. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Now we will get rid of the stroke and change the fill to whatever color you like. Next, select the Pen tool and click on this intersection. Now click on this one. Then move over here to this one. Now this one, that one, this one and click on the beginning intersection to close the path. Next, we will add a gradient to our shape. Go to the Gradient panel. If you don't have it, go to Window and select Gradient. And let's drag this purple color to the Gradient slider and adjust it a bit. Now let's zoom in and check if all the anchor points are lining up with the guidelines. Using the Direct Selection tool, select the anchor point that needs to be adjusted and move it to the intersection. And let's move this one up. This one down. This one is OK. And this one is fine too. Now select everything and we will rotate this part around the center of the cross mark. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool and holding down the ALT key, click on this intersection to set the rotation point. Leave the angle as it is and click Copy and press Ctrl D to make one more copy. Now let's turn off the visibility of layer 1. Select everything and let's resize it. Thanks for watching, bye bye.